All right, man, talk to talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. The thumbs up button if you like the content. So look, man, today I'm going to be debating someone on this Kendrick and Drake topic. Um, not necessarily debating, but we're going to have a good conversation. You know what I'm saying? And um, he has a difference of an opinion when it comes to certain things and, than me. And I'm glad that he can come on the show. So, without further ado, let's get into it before I get to that. You know, I got to get my legendary spill. This is Towards the Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing if you're new here. Let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies. Put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, leave a donation. Link's on the screen. Cash app. PayPal is in the description. They called me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000, the king of the north. You know what it is. And, um, yeah, let me know where you're from, man. So let's get to it, man. We're going to get it in. Let's go. All right, man. We here, man. We here. We here. So look, man, introduce yourself. Let people know where you're from, all that good stuff. And then we're going to talk about it. I got a couple of questions for you. Let's go. I um first and foremost appreciate the homie funeral man for inviting me on the show today. It's your boy S. Pronounce it like the letter. I don't say it at all. Make sure you follow me at S Got Bars. That's subscription on YouTube. Also, Bars Wrestling Media. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. Yeah, so. All right, so let's get to it, man. So my first question to you is, is. Uh, do you think that. Kendrick has put. Such a toll on Drake that. No matter what he does. It's not hitting like he used to. For example. He released 16 songs or 17 tracks since the beef. And I got another question after that. But do you think that he has put a toll on him to the point where he can't recover? Um, well, first off, he has put a toll on him, but I do think he can recover. Uh, if it was anybody else outside of Drake that don't have the name Drake, then I would say, yeah, he's probably done for. But considering the fact that this guy has an extensive catalog, uh, he's been making wild hits, he's been doing this and doing that and the other, you know, I do think that he can recover. Will he be the same? Mm. I, that has to be the answer. Will he be the same? But I do think he can recover. I do think he can bounce back. Just don't know if he'll be the same Drake that we're used to. But I do think he could bounce back, though. And what? And so, if you're saying he could bounce back, in what capacity do you think he can bounce back? Do you think he could bounce back within like? So, do you think he could bounce back with? hit records or you think he could just bounce back by just staying afloat uh i believe he could stay afloat you know what i mean i believe he could stay afloat i'm not gonna say hit records because you know i believe he still could make some dope records but i don't think they're gonna have the same appeal that they once had but i still think he could stay afloat because his name alone, his name alone can still, you know what I'm saying, keep him out there. You know, we got to remember, like, this guy's no slouch. Before the whole beef, you know what I mean, he was selling records like crazy. You know what I'm saying? So we can't just count him out just yet. Uh, we could we could say that, oh, yeah, he probably won't be the same Drake, but... You know, he definitely is still going. He still has the name. 
Let me just put it like that. He still has his name. He still has his brand. It might not be the same brand that it once was, but he still got it, and he still got fans too. So, so him, you, so you, so you're connecting him selling records to him, uh, to his, to him being great. Is that what you're doing? Well, kind of, yeah. Like you know, I still think he's a pretty good artist. You know, what I mean, I still think he's great. I still think. He's, I mean, I mean, let's, you, let's be for real. He's, yeah. he's solidified. He's solidified already. You know uh, what I'm how? saying? How's he solidified? Well, I mean, he was one of the highest selling artists in the world. You know what I'm saying? Give me, give and, me another argument of why he's solidified outside of the, outside of the sales. Or is that your only argument? Well, Honestly, that's the only argument because, like, as far as if we go, if we gonna talk about lyricist, that's not, you know, what I mean, that's not his cup of tea. Although he is a very good rapper, if we talk about lyricist, then nah. But outside of that, I don't have no other argument. That's why I'm saying like he could still stay afloat because he still has the name Drake. He still got money, and he still have his his core following that's probably going to follow him into the depths of, so you, you know what so, I mean, wherever. So basically, you're saying that Drake is only good. He's only good because he is a hit maker. I mean, if you want to say it like that, you know, like, I don't, I don't necessarily think that he's only good because he's a hit maker i what mean else, i do think that? you said that you said that is 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 basically his sales that's that you, you that's your argument is his sales what well, other argument do you have that make him a great artist i mean uh you know i mean well he could i mean well he could he you might have a point there but if i'm if i'm him Basically, if I'm him, like, I would probably, you know what I'm saying, like, venture into other avenues as well instead of, like, you know what I'm saying, so much focus onto the music. You know what I mean? Have some other outlets because his name is going to sell, so have some other outlets out there that could possibly get him, like, I mean, once upon a time he was an actor, right? So... Maybe he could I, do something I like that. I don't, really, I don't really necessarily know if he's going to still sell because he has released multiple records. And his last song, he released it twice, actually. So there's a song called No Face. I think I think uh, you heard it before, probably. But there's a song called No Face. And he released that song. It didn't do as well. And then he did a music video for it. And most people don't even know he did a music video. Or at least, because I'll put it to you like this. You do have a point when it comes to Drake being a big deal. And I think a lot of people do know that know of Drake. But I think that ever since this battle, Drake had a, a special aura around him. You know what I mean? When he first, like when he before this battle. He was like the guy in the room. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. Kendrick was the guy in the room, too. But I think Kendrick was, he was a different type of breed. And I think that when you, when two people enter this room, it's Kendrick and Drake, it just looks like, it just looks like Drake was really good. Let's just say Drake was like, uh, I'll give it to you like this. Say Drake was like, Drake was like Spider Man, you know what I'm saying? He was like he was he was he was like Spider Man, and Kendrick is like Doctor Manhattan. You know what I'm saying? So when Kendrick entered the room with Spider Man, Doctor Manhattan's yeah, we already know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? So I think that that's what it is when it comes to this whole battle. He lost his allure. He don't even have it no more. He's like. I've never really was a big Drake fan. Like, not really. Was never really a big Drake fan. I thought he was cool, but I was never really a big Drake fan. But 
I did check for some of the things he did. And even if I skipped it, because I like his flow. So even if I skim through the, the albums that he put out, to listen just to the raps, because I don't really care about his R&B music, because it just doesn't sound good to me. It just sounds like he's sound like he's drunk and he's playing around. Like, it just sounds like that to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when I listen to these albums, I only listen to for the, the rap parts, portions, the flows, different ways he rap. I like I like that. But I think after this battle, he it kind of like sucked, like Kendrick sucked the life out of him. So now it's kind of like, I, it, he kind of got exposed because now I look at him like, he's just doing regurgitated things that he did already. See, see, here's the thing, right? If I'm Drake, right, leave the whole Kendrick Lamar thing alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, it is what it is. You know what I mean? You got your corpse kicked. Leave it alone. Focus on getting back your aura or whatever whatever it is you had. Focus on that. The problem is with No Face, right? It's still a diss record. Technically, it's still a diss record. So, you are he's continuing to try to prove something that is already dead it's already done it's already done and that's the one thing that i have problem with him now like i said he has his name that can still keep him afloat but at the same time too you're kind of like shooting yourself in the foot because you putting out a record that okay you're kind of dissing Kendrick Lamar and you're kind of dissing uh, J. Cole as well and a bunch of other folks. So Mm -hmm. I feel like, why don't he just focus on trying to regain back what he once had or get close enough to it instead of like trying to focus on trying to win a battle that we all know that he's not going to win. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just the way it is. That, but, but like I said, I go back and say when you when you've been in the game as long as he has and you have the following that he has he's always going to have something in the bag to keep him out there that's just the way it is you know what i mean that's what most artists that have a name like him they always are going to have something in the bag to keep him out there now so you know so, what i'm saying so, How- so basically you saying he can never fall off I mean, he could, yeah, he can, he can never fall off too far, but you know, what I mean, he could stay afloat. So, so he's the yeah. only artist ever in in music history that could never take a L. Like he could never fall off to you because I didn't say he can. I didn't not, say not he can never L. take I mean, an L. I'm saying, I'm saying falling off, not an L. He's the only artist I'm, in history to you that could never fall off. I want to say he's the only one. I would just say like give me another when one. you have another rapper when you that can never fall off yeah um I would say Eminem he fell off Eminem I'm I mean really did he yes did he did he? I mean he <sighs> fell off he fell off like maybe maybe once some of the albums he put out was terrible I mean and, and are we but are we saying that if, if you put out a bad album that's you falling off I can't really say that yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he, he, M, like for M, you know what I mean. He still had that name. Then that's what I'm saying. Like M had that name. So even if he came out with like maybe one or two bad albums, people are still gonna go check for him because you know that's Eminem. And but I'm that, going that, back and that's, that's a that's more of a cult following, though. Would you say? I mean, it so is basically saying, but Drake, Drake got Drake got cult cult following too. You know what I mean, he really? got. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know if Drake has a cult following. I think Drake I has think fans, he does. but I don't think he has a cult following. I think he does because How, give me an example I, of why you believe Drake has a cult following. Because he still has people out there that love him so much that feel like he can do no wrong. When you got people like that. That's your that's that those are your but that's, those but that, are your legs. That could only be like I don't know, it's millions of people in the world, billions of people. That could be like 
ten thousand people. That don't mean you got a cult following. Nah, it's not. It's not ten thousand. Not for, not as big as his name is. Ain't no ten thousand. You know so what I'm saying? Got, okay. Maybe so. All right, so let me just say this, and then I'm going to ask you this next question. So given the fact that if, 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 if Drake fans or people who heard this wasn't biased, they would clearly say he lost, correct? Yeah. So my, my next question to you is, and be honest, did you have Drake winning this battle? When he first, I before, they, before they started? I'm going to be honest. Like, in the beginning stages, in the beginning stages, you know what I'm saying, when he dropped that first joint, I was like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? This could be interesting. You know? And then, you know, he dropped another one. I was like, huh? Eh. You know, still interesting. But then, you know, when But that wasn't Kendrick the question dropped, I asked you. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer the question. And then when Kendrick dropped his, I was just like, oh, well, there you have it. It's, it's, it's basically, it's basically, it's not, it's a, it's a, it's a no way. I got to be honest. You know what I mean? I didn't, at the first, I said, it, 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 it sort of seemed like, you know what I mean? It could be something, but, but let's be for, let's be for, I got to, I got to keep it a buck. You know what I mean? Drake tried to like superstar his way out of this out of this whole uh battle. You can't do that in battle rap. You Listen, have man, to you rap. dancing around the question. Did you think Drake was gonna win when you first before everything started? Yes or no, man? Cause you like you go you go oh, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like tell me you, what right. you think, bro. Do you think he was gonna win or not? <laughs> You can I mean, that's <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, nah, I didn't think he was gonna win. No, you, I mean? I so thought, you didn't think Kendrick was gonna win? No, 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 no. I thought, I thought Kendrick definitely was gonna. You know what I'm saying? Before it even started, you thought Kendrick was gonna beat Drake? Yeah, like I thought. I what I like I said, what I thought was yeah. in the beginning stages that, you know, what I mean, he was gonna make it interesting. And kind of like you know use his stardom to keep him afloat, yeah. but when you're dealing with somebody like Kendrick, you know you can't. It's a battle. It's a rap battle. Like you can't. You, it don't matter what type of aura you got. You know what I'm saying? Like if you can't really rap with the person in front of you, then you're gonna lose. So, well, yeah, I didn't really. Um, I'm gonna shoot Drake some bell here. Not from my from my perspective, but from people's perspective and the reason why a lot of people thought that Drake was going to win. The reason why a lot of people thought Drake was going to win because one, Kendrick was never battle tested. That's number one. Well, that's not even number one. That would be number three. Number one would be Drake uh, was consistently dropping music, right? That would be the reason, one of the reasons yeah. why they thought Drake was going to win. Two mm -hmm. is because Drake been in battles and he survived. He been in one of he been in, I would say, three crucial battles. One of them isn't really prevalent in this whole story, but it was really the, one of the ones that actually started everything. It was the one when he battled Joe Buttons. Joe Buttons and Drake. I think Drake had a battle with somebody before Joe Buttons. Some dude, I uh, can't remember the dude's name, but he was dissing Drake, and Drake was saying, you diss me, you never have a, I'll never reply. This was back in the day. But this is before Drake was Drake. Joe Buttons dissed Drake. So when Joe Buttons dissed Drake, I'm not going to say it was a big deal, but Joe Buttons said a lot of things that all of these other uh, uh, battles people, uh, battle people uh, that battle Drake started saying. The second battle was him and Common Sense. Common, not Common Sense. That's his old name, but Common. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of people were trying to say that that really wasn't the battle. It was a battle because Common made a song, 
where he dissed him called Sweet. And he was talking about, because the whole thing with Serena Williams, Common was messing with Serena, and Drake said some things about him. But at the same time, there was a song, I believe, called Exodus by Pusha T. And he was dissing Wayne and Drake. And Birdman. Yeah, I got a question for you. Yeah. I got a question for you. Well, hold All on. Right, so let me finish. Going let me finish. back. Let me finish. Uh, okay. then, then you Just remember your question. Okay. Let me finish. Because I'm not going to remember. All right. So the next, the, then you All have right. Pusha T. And when Pusha T came, mm -hmm. he came with, uh, uh, I believe, I can't remember the, other, the first song he did. Somebody said it was PTSD. I don't remember. I don't think that was the name. I don't think that was the name. And then he did, uh, Drake did uh, Duffy Freestyle. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll skip one. Meek Mill. It was Meek Mill. Drake and Meek Mill back to back and charged up and all that. And then you got, uh, now, that battle he won. And I think that since he did charged up and he won, I think that everybody kind of thought that Drake off of charged up that he couldn't be beat until story of Adonis came. And he admitted he lost to Pusha T. He basically said it on camera for front of Elliot Wilson. I had to say he beat me. He got me. I mean, I was just saying to myself, like, there's nothing I can say. He he won. You know what I'm saying? And I respected Drake for that because he basically call, he had to call it out. So I think a lot of people looked at that and said, well, Kendrick Lamar is not battle-tested. Nobody ever battled Kendrick. Who, who, like, no one, he never been in a battle with these people, but there's a reason why I knew that Kendrick was going to uh, smoke Drake. But I'm going to let you go, and then I'm going to explain it after this. So go ahead. <laughs> All right, so um, you mentioned Common, right? So... Yeah. My question is to you, going back to that little spackle with him and Common, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think do you think that Common won that won that exchange between between the two? Uh if I had to go off the, the lyrics, Common did two songs. He did Sweet and then he did his other joint. And I can't remember the name of the other song he did. It was a freestyle, I believe. But he said at the end of the he said at the end of the song, he said, You're not something you can't it a dry or something like that. Something like that, he said. I can't remember exactly what the bar was. But then you had uh what's the song? I ride for my niggas, dog. I ride for my niggas. Stakes Keenan. That verse was about common. Funny how the gods, funny how the uh, gods to get to acting like broads. You know what I'm saying? Talking about common. And, and then you say he wasn't with me shooting in the gym. He wasn't with me shooting in the gym and all that stuff. You know what I mean? See, I didn't if, know that was about common. I didn't yeah. know that. If I had to pick, I think Drake had the better raps in that joint. I think his verse was better. Mm. Common did a song, mm. and it was on his album. It was called Sweet. That song was dope. But I just think that Drake lyrics was a little bit better. Common had the better song, but Drake lyrics is better. But Drake didn't do a full song on Common. He just jumped on. I'm not sure if he did a full song on Common, but I know he jumped on a, the the stay scheming joint coming at him. Yeah, so. I remember. I remember that. I, I do remember that, and see, and see, that's kind of like that's kind of like my point. You know what I mean? Um, he, he, he. Even, even though, even though, like for the most part, you know, most people might have felt that he won that one between Common or lost or whatever. You know what I mean? He went. He his name his name carried him. So he could have he could have been like subpar mm. with with that situation and they still would have felt like he would have got over on that you know what i mean i mean that's, i guess that's, that, I that's, guess that's, that's kind of what you kind of right about that and that kind of do speaks to what you mean by the cult the cult following 
type of thing because mm-hmm. a lot of people said he lost that battle. You know what I'm saying? I say he won off of just the lyrics, but he only really did one joint. You know what I'm saying? But then after right. that, that's when he did it. So he be, he battled, let's say, four people. The reason why I kind of knew, like how I kind of knew that he was going to lose to Kendrick is because mm. if you go back and you listen to Control, you already know that he had it out for all of them that he mentioned in Control. Every one of them was on the, I'm on bomb you list. And I'm separating myself from every one of you dudes. I'm going to be the best. I'm separating myself from every one of y'all. Tyler, the creator, Drake, ASAP Rocky, uh, uh, Pusha T, Mac Miller, J. Cole, J. Electronica, Big Crit. I'm separating myself from all y'all. Because I'm the best. I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to, no more designer shit, none of that. I ain't trying to be in the club. Nah, I'm pinning every day I'm going to be in here. I'm going to be the best rapper ever. That's the mentality he had. See, these other rappers don't have that mentality. They're just making music because they want to make money. I mean, it just so happens that Kendrick makes money, but he also ain't just doing anything. You have realized this is another reason why I had him beating Drake easily. Handedly, like it was no, no, even no, no roughness in, you know what I mean? No, nothing hard about it. I'm just going to beat you easily. The reason why I had him winning easily is because he don't drop that much music. And he probably was waiting for this moment. Anybody that you know that don't drop music like that, but every time they drop, it's a big deal and they do something epic. Stay away from that nigga. Don't try to battle that nigga. <laughs> because that nigga is different. He different. I don't think a lot of people understand how different Kendrick Lamar really is. I think that they think that he's just a rapper. He Everything he does has a point to it. And I'm starting to realize that the more I listen to his music. Let's take, let's take one song, for example. Don't kill my vibe, right? I argued with this one boy. He said he hate the fact that Kendrick Lamar is using an alien voice in the song. And I said, do you understand what he mean by that, though? No, nah, it doesn't make a difference. I don't care. I can feel your energy from two planets away. He's speaking like an alien. Why not talk like an alien in the song if he's talking about the different energies that they have. And I think he, me personally, he was dissing Drake in that song because it's kind of a continuation from Buried Alive. You know what I'm saying? So I think he was dissing Drake in that song because he was saying, like, basically, like, you like to be, you you obsessed with radio stuff. I'm looking right past you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to be... I'm going to take, I'm I'm, I'm going to break out and I'm hiding every lock. Like I'm taking everything from you and I'm going to do something totally different than what is what you're trying to do. So when he's using that alien voice, I can feel your energy from two planets away. Like what better way to do that than say something like that? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And just sonically, it's great. And also, too, instrumentally, Kendrick is a beast. He has live violins being played in songs, kind of like what Kanye does. You know what I'm saying? I just think that when you take all of that into consideration, there's no way in the world anybody can tell me that there's a difference between somebody going into the studio and making music and somebody living in the studio making music. It's the big difference. Somebody that sits down and they write and they think of things and they're in there, uh, they're in in the booth, 93 takes. 93 takes in. Oh, I don't like how that sounds. Let's try that over. You ever dealt with somebody like that? 93 takes in. Not that they don't know the song, 
It's just that they got to get it right to the point where they satisfy. I don't think Drake does that. I think he, I think he, he has a certain uh, preset that he goes to and that's it. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. It's like, like cray paper, you know, what cray paper is right. The, the tracing paper. You just trace. That's Drake to me. Kendrick is the art under the tracing paper that, that Drake's trying to trace. So that's, that's what I'm saying. And that's the reason why I said that. I kind of knew from the beginning that this wasn't no competition. But I understand why people felt like that because Drake gave them the illusion that they, he gave them the illusion that he was going to body Kendrick. Like straight up and down. That he was going by yeah, him. I, I I agree with you on that. He definitely gave the illusion, you know, and it just goes back to what I was saying before, you know. Um his name his name he I guess he thought his name alone and what he has done in rap was gonna carry him through much like how it did with the previous battles he has had in the past. You know, so that's why I feel like a lot of people thought that he was going to get over, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, that's kind of the reason why that he's able to stay afloat, you know what I'm saying? Because his name, now he might not have been able to do it in a battle, in a rap battle, but I feel like his name could still carry him through, you know what I mean, just as an artist alone. You know, people... I mean, let's just face facts, you know. I mean, there's a, I know there's going to be a, a, a lot of people that's not going to want to work with him anymore after this, but there's still going to be some people that's going to still want to work with him, you know what I mean? If I'm an upcoming artist, I don't have much of a name or much of credibility, but I just got signed to a major or I just got endorsed by a major artist <laughs> and then they're cool with and they're cool with Drake and then they say, hey, you know what I'm saying? This is my man's or this is my girl, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Bring them in there. You know, let them do a track with you. You know, and because of that name alone, the track gets some uh some play, you know, and it could be a hit. You know, so that's why I say that he's still going to have folks that's going to want to do something. They might not be the caliber of folks that we normally, you know what I'm saying, would, would, would resonate with, but it's still going to be some people out there that's I, I, I don't know. I disagree. I think he's done. I'm looking at the metrics. I'm looking at the numbers. I think Drake Rain is over. A hundred percent. I think he's, but, but, he's still there. Obviously, because he has hits from the past, like you said. But for me, mm -hmm. I don't... I, People got to realize Drake dropped like 17 songs since the battle. Kendrick dropped one song since the battle and it out, it lapped all the Drake songs that he dropped. He dropped one. Drake dropped 17. None of his songs is on the hot 100. Everything he did is off the, off the billboard. Drake. He's not even on the Hot 100. But then you're going to have these core following, followers that say, you know, just because it's not on the Hot 100 doesn't mean it's not hot. But they but, but their argument is hollow because what are we judging this off of? Are we judging this off of because we just like this person? Or are we judging this off of his success? Because if we're going to say you have to, this, this is the whole argument that I, that I hate what people use. Not saying you, but I just hate when people use this argument of sales. Because mm -hmm. on one hand, everybody will use the arguments of sales when it comes to Drake. But on the other hand, y'all don't want to use the argument with Kendrick when it comes to uh, accolades. It's like, okay, Kendrick has all these Grammys, has all these BT awards, but that don't mean nothing. But the, uh, but the, the sales mean everything. Oh, because he mm -hmm. sells a th thousand records an hour. Yeah, he, yeah he's, the, he's that guy. It's like, oh, we we hate we 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 always saying how commercial and pop people are, and how when someone's successful, we they're commercial. Oh, he went he went commercial. 
because they blow up. But then you try to use the same argument against Kendrick by saying, well, man, I don't care about the Grammys. They don't mean nothing. The Grammys ain't it been for hip hop for years. And it's like, well, obviously you haven't been watching the Grammys. But that's my argument when it comes to people who use that argument of the record sales. It's like, oh, you want to use the argument of record sales when it comes to Drake because that supports the argument. But you don't want to use the, uh, the uh, when I bring, whenever I bring up the accolades with Kendrick, oh, that don't matter. That doesn't matter. It's like, why? What you mean it don't matter? He get he getting he getting awards just like you selling records, right? But I think that the reason why Drake isn't going to be in the position that he is in anymore is because he got too many eyes on him that's negative instead of positive. See, before, when Drake, when Kendrick, when Drake was uh was, was exposed with having a child, that's not, like, I think it's a big deal when he say you were hiding a child. That's a big deal. Don't get me wrong. But, to be honest with you, no celebrity want people to know what their child look like. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a big yeah. deal. But I think what Kendrick did to Drake is he exposed what everybody was looking and they knew from the beginning. They just never said. It was like, oh, yeah, that guy, he's a fraud. Now, other people said he was a fraud, but when Kendrick said it, it made sense because this is a guy who's at the same level as you when it comes to uh, rap, when it comes to rapping. I ain't going to say popularity because obviously Drake is more popular than Kendrick. But when it comes to popularity in well, in America, it's, it's the yin and the yang. Alpha and Omega, that's what Kendrick and Drake was at the time. So this battle was bound to happen because it was kind of like the Nas and the Jay-Z or the Biggie and Pop. Or the, you know what I'm saying? That's what it was. But what happened when they collided? Now Kendrick basically he's the one since it's the it, since this the Nas to the J and the Pac to the Big. Nobody else can expose you like I'm gonna expose you because I'm Kendrick and you're Drake. So I can expose I you the way that people will look at it differently. I got another question. So you mentioned Jay and Nas, right? So we all we we obviously know who's the Jay in this situation. We obviously know who's the Nas in this situation, right? So this kind of pro this kind of proves my point when I say name, because Jay, we all know Nas kicked Jay's corpse with ether, right? Mm -hmm. Jay is still out there. You know what I'm saying? Jay is still out there. Jay is still making money. You know what I mean? So going back to Drake, he still can make an honorable, successful artist, whatever you want to call it, for himself after this. But that goes back. Jay's still out there. And I'm saying, but that goes back to the, your original argument is off of sales. What happens when he's not selling? He's not I selling think, now. I don't think. I mean, I mean, to to our perspective, is not he's not selling. Yeah, get the fuck. But to yeah, his, come on, bro. But, <laughs> come on, bro. Get up out of here with that, bro. Yo, yo, get yo, 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 yo. To our per, to to. To our yeah. perspective, that to like our perspective, he's what you, not. What you're saying now kind of sound like you you're part of the cult, the cult, the cult uh following. To our perspective, he's not saying because yeah, all right, so home, what, all right, so let all right, so let's so let's so 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 we if if we gonna talk, we don't talk about sales, right? Okay, let's just dabble I'm with saying, that. Just I'm a saying bit. before you say that, I'm saying he has released seventeen songs. And they have not sold. So what happens when he's not selling like that? What is your argument then? All right, so let me let me say this. Let me say this, right? How many times is he gonna have to do that before we before we say that he's he's flatlined? How many times is he not going because 
he could not sell right now, like we're saying, like it's being said, and then he come back later and he has something that's, you know, you medium. They, but this is, this is this is this is what I mean by, and I'm not saying you are a Drake delusional fan because I don't think you are. But this is what I mean because that's how y'all think, right? This is how this is how not you, but this is how they think. They think that mm -hmm. he's gonna come back with a hit. He dropped 17 songs, my nigga. 17. Where's the hit at? So, so y'all waiting for him to drop a hit. So I could say, why does he get so much grace? You know what I'm saying? When it comes to this, I can't say that about any other artist. If any other artist who dropped 17 songs and they all flopped, you would say that what? You would say he fell off, right? He's a failure. If, if, if Kendrick came out with 17 songs and they all flopped, you would say Kendrick is a flop. He's a failure. But for some reason, when it comes to Drake, we got to say, oh, you know what? Just wait until you come out next week. <laughs> but, that, but, that, that but, 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 that, but that just goes back to what I said before. You know what I'm saying? He has built that establishable name for himself that it's almost like people feel like he can do no wrong. That's bullshit. So that's what... It's, bu you know it's I mean? bullshit because, number one, we just, we're witnessing him falling off right now. You know I mean? Hold on. We're witnessing him falling off right now. But for some reason, he gets a pass because he's Drake. And guess what? Next week, y'all going to forget all about it because he's going to come out with a song and it's going to be a hit. Oh, Drake came out with a hit. Because y'all so used to him dropping hits, right? So y'all saying. So this is what I'm saying. No matter what Drake does, he could do a hundred songs. And every one of those songs could be garbage. Everybody's gonna always revert back to well, he got he got all the hits though. So they're not judging it fairly off of the music quality. Y'all only talking about his hits and how much he sells. Y'all don't care about the quality of the music. Because if you did, it wouldn't even matter. Kendrick Lamar sells records whenever he dropped, but the quality is there. But I can just imagine if it was any other artist in the history of music who came out with stuff. Even people said Michael Jackson fell off. If they came out with something and they didn't do good within 17, 16, 17, I would say 10 songs. Within 10 songs that you didn't do good, y'all automatically say the dude fell off. They'll say he fell off. But for some reason, Drake gets a pass. I don't understand it. It's like y'all waiting. Oh, yeah, we waiting. He'll be out. He's going to have a hit next week. Like, for real? That's all I'm saying. But yeah, uh, no. you got something else? You have a point. No, you have a point. You have a very valid point, you know. But, you know, like, it's... Let, let's be... It's always going to be that way, though, when it, come, when it comes... When it comes to somebody that has the name that he has, it's always going to be that way. It's never going to be the opposite. It, you know what I mean? And there's people that are always going to feel that, you know what I mean, that that's their guy regardless of what he does. You know what I'm saying? That's how they're going to feel. You know, we, I, I, we I think, or I think, others. I think, I think you're right. And I think a lot of people, I think you're right. And I think a lot of people are, do have a cult-like mentality when it comes to him. I'm just saying, I mean, eventually you're going to have to tell the truth and you're going to have to say, yeah. fell off. So, but either way, man, thank y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all, man. Out of here. See y'all. Peace. See you later.